Hey everybody, it's Glenn back with another Clash Royale analysis video. Let's take a look at another game from the No Tilt League World Championship Tournament Stage 2. This is from the East Region featuring Yakitori and Jupiter King. We're going to see Yakitori playing a version of the Double Barrel Bait deck. I guess we can't call it 2.9 anymore because what we've seen over the past week or so since it started taking popularity is players rotating some of the spell cards uh, for other spell cards. And what uh, Yakitori was doing with his lineup is switching out Inferno Tower for Bomb Tower as he tries to defend this push with the Royal Giant. What Jupiter King is using is the deck that was pretty popular among those who got to 20 wins to qualify for this stage right here. And we're also going to see in this game how Fisherman, I think, by all accounts, is the best legendary in the game at the moment. That change to his his range, his reach, is pretty unbelievable, as we see right there. Just stops that, that Dark Goblin from doing anything, stops that push right there, and almost gets to the tower right here. So this is kind of the feeling out process for both players and here's where I thought things started to kind of feel different. You see Jupiter King play Royal Giant in the back and Yakitori's coming in with barrels and baits. He's trying to get he's trying to get that cycle going so that you know uh, at some point he's going to catch Jupiter King off. That's kind of the plan here. Delivery comes in, drops that Royal Giant. So the Royal Giant did absolutely nothing to the tower. So that Royal Giant did his 15 second walk. Or 20 second walk, I should say. And did nothing. Meanwhile, Yakitori is just putting on the pressure, throwing skeleton barrel, goblin barrel. <coughs> he has to use a hunter to stop that. He has to <laughs> drop a delivery. And, I mean... I mean, Yakitori uses delivery to stop the the uh, Royal Giant, but that's the idea, is that with the Royal Giant all the way in the back, it just allowed Yakitori to, to try some offense, and if it didn't work fine, he can just get everybody prepared because uh, double barrel bait is a very fast cycle. So you can see he has not only defenders coming in to save the day, it's just a push. <laughs> and I was I was really surprised, but I think as we're going to see later in this game, kind of the idea that Jupiter King was trying to to establish by playing Royal Giant in the back uh, right there. I was just really surprised that that Royal Giant ended up doing absolutely nothing. It was basically six elixir for nothing. Why not just play it right here at the bridge and just have him move move forward and then, then okay you have a hunter uh that can defend on the left side again we're i, I believe we're going to see the purpose of of why that that was the case so fisherman again doing fisherman things brings in anybody who is even within the arena <laughs> So we have a minute to go, and I think this is where, again, I think we're going to see the idea of behind the road giant. Yakitori yeah, keeps coming in with barrels, and you have to do that with, with this double barrel bait deck. You have to keep throwing barrels, and you're, at some point, if it works out, you're going to catch your opponent off guard. Comes in with dart, and can dart get in some attacks? Yes, but only a couple. There was some really great defense uh, there by Jupiter King to stop that. And not only stop that, but keep, continue his push. The only thing that can stop this Royal Giant now is a bomb tower. And this is why we saw the Royal Giant being played in the back. Because there is another Royal Giant that will get shots on the tower. Ends up getting three shots on the tower. So let's rewind that. Because I thought that was... A, it didn't make sense in the beginning. And now it makes total sense what Jupiter King was trying to establish. He was trying to get 
eventually he would cycle through. It didn't look like it at first, but eventually if the cycle worked out where he cycled back really fast, he could get two Royal Giants on the board. And then that is really unstoppable because since Yakatori's only building is a bomb tower and not really an Inferno Tower, because Inferno Tower is the one that is really kind of the, the big stopper in this lineup, aside, aside from Knight. Fisherman pulls the Knight, and now if you look at it right here, he's already cycled through, and the only thing that's stopping this Royal Giant is the bomb tower, which, you know, that's not going to be enough. And Yakutori brings the delivery, but by then, has he have enough? Has he have enough elixir to to get another bomb tower down? He has to bring in dart, but that gets stopped by fireball, and then we just see it just becomes really overwhelming, and that fisherman is so annoying that this became a from a very close game to something that Jupiter King just started to slowly start gaining control again. He plays it in the back, another Royal Giant, and you see now that this is, this is not only, okay, he has to, to Yakitori not only has to either go for it, but he has, or, or he has to go in and say, okay, I'm going to play everybody back and we're just going to defend the two Royal Giants are going to be coming. Not just one, but you have to expect the two Royal Giants are going to be on on their way to the bridge. So he's going for it. He's going to go play. Uh, he's going to make that push right now. And everything just gets stopped by Log. And that is so deflating. I've been playing the double barrel bait for a couple of weeks now. And I can't tell you the, the times, so many times that you feel like you get the one push and the one opportunity to make that move and it just gets wiped out by log delivery fireball whatever spell you want to you want to think of it just wipes it all out i mean if you look at like how there was there was this opportunity right here it looked really good yeah hunter's gonna wipe out that that barrel but look i mean that looks like something that's going to be very damaging. And no. And now, Yakitori says, okay. There goes that attack. And here comes this fully healthy Royal Giant that may be being accompanied by a second Royal Giant, but instead it's going to be a Fisherman, which is the best move because that pulls the Knight out of the way. Fireball stops that dart. And Royal Giant just gets shots on the tower. This delivery comes in and this is before the season 14 changes so you saw that push right there but again you know Yakitori just has to keep coming with the barrels and just get stopped by law it's just so it is so it's so sad <laughs> at times to see that these types of uh games that happen you just the the counter uh, the counter attack is just unbelievable you know royal giant doesn't get any shots in but you just kind of sense that it's just going to keep coming, and, and here's what happens. Royal Giant comes in. That log stops dart. And the bomb tower only is there for so long, but, uh, you know, Royal Giant comes in and just keeps getting shots on the tower. So what looked like a, a questionable play or kind of like what? It, it didn't make sense. Um why Royal Giant was being played in the back to start. It ultimately made sense when the when it got to double elixir time and when Jupiter King said, okay, I have fully established myself as the one who is going to take control of this game. I have the weapons that can stop Yakitori and I also have the weapons that can take down this tower and if I just get it right, uh, it will it'll be a perfect uh finish and it was for jupiter king i mean this is a very even matchup according to stats royale you know and jupiter king drops seven royal giants fishmen unbelievable uh the fireball came in stopped dart right when it was needed and yakitori played i mean he played it well i mean eight barrels 14 barrels combined 
Uh, he cycled through really well, but you know, it's just this this lineup. But Jupiter King, we can understand now why so many players use this lineup to get to 20 wins in in the 20 win challenge. So, congrats to Jupiter King. We're going to be breaking down another game from this match uh, later on. I'm going to end the video right here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like, the subscribe, and all the other uh, buttons uh, to help support the the channel. I'll see you in the next video.